Hello, I'm Dr. Ho Inshik, Digital Dentistry. Today we are going to talk about whether we will mill or print prosthesis contents, milling or 3D printing, the work process of them, indications, lab procedures, and clinical application of milling or 3D printing. First, the work process of milling or 3D printing. Using CAD CAM, we can mill. It is as if a sculptor is carving a sculpture. There are two types of milling in terms of the equipment that is used. First, four axis equipment. The equipment is using the block type materials to mill the material. On the right, the five axis device or equipment uses a disc to mill a prosthesis. Let's look at the process of zirconia milling. When a patient comes, teeth are reduced and um, the mouth is scanned using a CAD program. A prosthesis is designed. After that, it is milled and the milled teeth are colored and it goes through eight hours centering followed by polishing or for anterior region glazing and staining is used for special aesthetic color effect after that final try-in is made if we mill ceramic instead of zirconia scanning and designing steps are the same after that, four axis milling machine is used for the milling, and the heat treatment would be reduced compared to zirconia, but you still have to go through the heat treatment before final delivery. The process of 3D printing, it is not sculpting. It is like building up a ceramic vessel. So it is like layering. That is the principle of 3D printing. In the market, there are many different 3D printers. The technological levels varied and the prices as well. Among them, the DLP 3D printers can be used in a clinical dental office practically. It has excellent performance and very cost effective. Intraoral scanning is done, and the designing of a prosthesis is the same as the milling process. After that, 3D printers are used to print out the output, and the output is washed and cured. This is the process. The output of the 3D printers are not really for the final prosthesis, they are primarily for temporaries. Two, indications of milling or 3D printing. Both of them can manufacture implant guides and they can be used to, to fabricate temporary restorations or dentures or anti-snoring or grinding devices or ortho appliances. Lastly, they can be used to fabricate models for ortho treatment and jig printing. Therefore, you can make a decision which one to use considering economic and efficiency factors. Third, lab procedures of milling or 3D printing. With milling, zirconia or PMMA, whatever the material would be after it is milled, 
there are connectors remaining, usually three in the posterior region, two connectors remain in the anterior or premolar area, buccolingually, and using a low speed burr, they are removed. Thus, the collector would be necessary after removing the connectors, two in the lingual and one in buccal side would remain, and the numbers can be switched. So the connectors remain like this. After removing the connectors, it would look like this. If the crown is short, usually one connector would be left because when you mount a prosthesis, it is used as a hook to remove the prosthesis. However, if the prosthesis is long, two connectors in the lingual and buccal size can be left. After trimming the connectors, zirconia crown would require coloring for PMMA. Coloring is not absolutely necessary. After the process, in general, seven or eight hour heat treatment, the sintering process is required to make the crown that can be used clinically. After sintering, finally, the teeth need to be polished. Now, let's talk about the lab procedure for 3D printing. After printing, on the printout, still liquid resin remains, so that need to be washed. After that, curing. After that, sprue needs to be cut off, and um, finishing should be done. Washing and cleansing. Let's have a look at them. At the beginning, for 3D printing washing, isopropyl alcohol used to be used, which is no longer used because the isopropyl alcohol is highly toxic. It doesn't have odor and inflammable, not fit for the use in the dental office. The alternative is the ethyl alcohol, which is used commonly in a dental clinic. When we do the washing, two types of devices can be considered. On the left, the 3D printer companies produce the washing machine, which is high capacity. A lot of alcohol can be contained in there large 3D outputs can be washed, but it is very expensive and it is a waste. For a cleaning device that can be used in a dental clinic to wash small printouts, you can find this type of ultrasonic washing device on the internet easily, good enough for a dental clinic. After a printout is made, in my case, I first clean the output with a toothbrush. After that, ultrasonic device is used to clean it more thoroughly. On the left, an implant surgical guide is being washed. On the right, a temporary crown is being washed. When you wash a dental clinic printout, rather than high capacity device, a small ultrasonic washing device would be more appropriate. After the washing, after drying the surface, a curing device can be used to cure the output. As you can see, in the device, the printout is placed. It is being rotated for 10 to 20 minutes for curing. After the curing, the printout would have the supporters 
and they need to be removed and trimmed, the final restoration would be made. Four, clinical application of milling or 3D printing. I will explain using a case. The first case, on the left and right sides of maxilla, there are edentulous areas and teeth need to be extracted. If you look at CT image, sinus lift and bone grafting need to be done. If you look at the occlusal plane, bilaterally, there are steps. So in this patient, we had to brace the occlusal plane with the final prosthesis. This is before placing implants. Bilaterally, after raising the flaps, rich splitting and GBR. And if necessary, sinus lift were done to place implants. Sutured after about three months, secondary surgery was done due to deficient keratinized tissue. Keratinized tissue was harvested from the same side and free gingiva graft was done. Finally, keratinized tissue was formed surrounding the implants. Skin bodies were connected and it was scanned. Dental system. The final program was used to design the left and right final prosthesis. The problem, the newly set occlusion can be reproduced in the mouth. That needs to be checked. If you go to the final prosthesis and it doesn't fit, final prosthesis process would become very complicated, so you need to check that with the temporaries. So after connecting the customized abutments, a temporary, whether it will be made with a PMMA or 3D printer, an atomical form and occlusion need to be evaluated. In that case, PMMA temporary is required rather than using a 3D printer. PMMA is built. A temporary crown is mounted. You can see the posterior occlusal plane is raised on both sides. Before treatment and after treatment, temporary is delivered. The posterior region is raised. Overbite in the anterior region is reduced. For a temporary, PMMA is milled. As you can see, PMMA is used. For a temporary, it is delivered. Occlusal contact points are marked, and the marks are evenly distributed. For the areas where those marks are absent, you can go back to the program and selectively raise the occlusion for that area before milling the final prosthesis. 3D printing should not be used for this because there are many supporters on the occlusal plane. When you remove them, a lot of occlusal contact points can be removed together. If you need to check the accurate occlusal contact points before final prosthesis, you need to use PMMA milling for a temporary rather than using a 3D printer. After checking the occlusal contacts with the temporary, zirconia can be used to mill the final prosthesis, and zirconia prosthesis is finally delivered and prosthesis is completed. That way, you can avoid the hassle of remaking the final prosthesis as the occlusion is not correct. If you use a PMMA temporary before the final prosthesis, you can avoid the model work without models. The final prosthesis can be fabricated. The final prosthesis is completed. There is a slight gap in the anterior occlusion. 
수가 있습니다. Over jet and over bite are improved. 개선한 그런 모습들을 관찰할 수가 있고요. 두 번째. Second, temporary can be printed using a 3D printer in some cases rather than using PMMA. The patient traveled long distance to come to the clinic. All the teeth on the upper need to be extracted and a lot of implants need to be placed in the mandible. As you can see, the upper denture is fractured and the remaining teeth condition is poor. All were extracted in the mandible. The bone is good. To place implants, one guide is used to place implants. After the placement, to recover the chewing function of the patient, the ostom's stock abutments are mounted. The PMMA temporary fabricated in advance when one guide was fabricated is delivered on the day of surgery. A temporary is delivered. New temporary denture is made like this. After about three months, final prosthesis needs to be delivered. Skin bodies are used without a model. It is scanned. On the three-shape dental system program, customized abutments and the final prosthesis are designed at the same time, like this. After that, before fabricating the final prosthesis, first using a 3D printer, a temporary crown is fabricated. The temporary crown and customizing abutments are mounted in the mouth. The height of occlusal plane, the shape of prosthesis, profile, and the patient's satisfaction on the aesthetic factors, all these are checked before moving on to the final prosthesis. As a denture is on the opposing teeth, we don't have to use a PMMA to make a temporary. PMMA takes a lot of time as it should be milled little by little. But uh, for a 3D printer, it takes the same time whether you fabricate one or ten temporaries. So for large quantity prosthesis, 3D printer is much more economical and efficient. After the checking, the final prosthesis is fabricated and upper denture and lower prosthesis were completed. Anatomical form and aesthetic evaluation of prosthesis, we can use a temporary. PMMA can be used and 3D printing can be used as well. However, to evaluate um, prosthesis in the anterior region, PMMA would be better. Two upper central incisors need the prosthesis in this patient. Teeth are reduced. CAD program is used for the designing. PMMA temporary is fabricated, mimicking the final prosthesis. The shape of prosthesis can be evaluated whether the patient is satisfied with that. PMMA mills 100% exactly the way I designed the crown. So very accurate evaluation can be done, but 3D printed prosthesis has supporters and other issues. So it, ten, it tends to be rounded in the shape more than we designed. So it is not as good as PMMA in terms of detailed evaluation for aesthetic parts. So, if you want to do prosthesis to improve the anterior aesthetics, I recommend you to use a PMMA milled temporary rather than 3D printed prosthesis. And there is one more difference between PMMA and 3D printing. Post milling job versus post printing job. Milling is very simple. Milling 
like zirconia, uses a disc for the milling, connectors need to be cut and trimmed. Then all the manual work is finished, but when it comes to the 3D printing, after the printing, it should be washed, cured, and the manual work is relatively, compared to the milling, more complicated. In conclusion, fabricating implant guys, temporaries, dentures, ortho appliance, anti-snoring grinding devices, model for ortho treatment and zig printing, both of them can be used. Which one is more efficient or economical, you need to evaluate them and you can choose one or use both. To help your decision making, I came up with some criteria. First, in terms of accuracy, in my view, milling is much more accurate. Second, machine, the hardware cost when we purchase them, 3D printer is much less expensive. In terms of the material cost, compared to milling, 3D printer's material is much more economical. Time for temporary restorations or denture. If the number of temporary is small, milling can be better, but if you're talking about many temporaries to be fabricated, 3D printing can be far more advantageous. In terms of the occlusal evaluation, I said before, PMMA milling is much more satisfactory. That should be chosen. Six, anatomic form, especially in the interior, PMMA is strongly recommended. This concludes the lecture on milling or printing. First question. I am running a small clinic. In what order the products need to be purchased? First, for efficient 3D printing and milling, you need to have intraoral scanner and designing program. After designing the desired prosthesis, you need to be skilled at printing the output using a 3D printer, and uh, in the next step, you can go for the milling. For the final prosthesis, the second question, using a 3D printer, can I print out the final crown instead of a temporary? Using a 3D printer for a final crown, there is a problem with the materials. Even though the materials are advanced, for ease of use, it is not cost-effective to print the final crown. So to fabricate a final crown, milling is, at this point in time, would be better than printing. Today, we've talked about milling versus 3D printing. It is not to choose one of them. Both of them are necessary in our clinical work. In two weeks' time, I'm going to talk about the clinical usage of 3D printer. Thank you for your listening.